I definitely want to be a black belt. I think everyone wants to be a black belt. But what I want more is I want to be a really good blue belt. Or I want to be a really good purple belt who can fight like up in weight, who can fight like in higher higher belt divisions and still do like have the same have the same results. I want to be that first before I get my black belt. My name is Mateen Stevens, and you're watching the Modern Practitioner. I'm 13 years old right now. I'm currently training at Unity Jiu Jitsu. I've been training for three years. I got started in Jiu Jitsu at the age of 10. I started training because my parents wanted me to have self defense classes, to learn self defense in a good environment. So we started with Matt Harris School, which was really close to our house. And yeah, we, I, I, and I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it for the time I was there. You know, my family, my mom, my dad, like they always like told me to be honest, you know, train hard, but at the same time make sure that you have you have everything else covered. So like also if you're training hard, don't let your studies like go to one side. Like always make sure you're incorporating that at the same time. So like that's what I try to do when I'm here. I try to always have like a homework, have some kind of homework with me to learn that. And yeah, like that's one of the main things. My parents are like, they've made their own sacrifices in life to get me and my siblings to where we're at, to get us to class and stuff like that. To get us like, yeah, to get us things, to get help us with stuff like that. So definitely them. The environment here at Unity is really supportive, like Marilla is really supportive of my Jiu Jitsu. His wife Anna is really supportive of my Jiu Jitsu. Like people, like just in general here at Unity, are very supportive of each other. So I also try to put my own to. I also try to contribute in my own way. Everyone here is like one big family, is like extended family, and that also when you have that kind of that kind of vibe, I guess, that kind of those kind of nice thoughts about everyone else, and everyone else is really friendly to you, and you're really friendly to everyone else. It's hard not to have a good training session. We always will have a, we always will have a good training session. If everyone has that mindset, they want to train hard, but they have no hard feelings against each other, or there's no politics at all, you will have a good training session, guaranteed. And you know, Murillo, Professor Murillo, he does a great, a great job of at making sure everyone gets to where they want to be. Everyone has an amazing time. I started competing more seriously around 2014 and I really wanted to make that my biggest priority at the time, which is to train, which is to compete and I started learning, I started like discovering that I really enjoyed it and I really wanted to do this for a lifestyle like around 2014, 20, coming into 2015 when I started with the youth. I try to compete where I can, when I can. Um, try to always get first, of course, but I'm not really a coach right now. I'm not really teaching any class or anything like that. I just help out of anything, like the kids' class or whatever, but I am not really a... I'm not really much besides an athlete right now in Jiu Jitsu. I started competing in like September and I really enjoyed it, but like I got a lot serious, a lot more serious. Once I moved to like my second school, which was Alliance in New York City, um, the environment there was pretty good. I I enjoyed it, and I started competing more seriously at that time in like the bigger tournaments and stuff like that. I started pursuing like I went to fight grappling in Chicago. I went to the invitations in Florida. I competed there, and then I started realizing that this is what I wanted to do, and I wish it devote a lot of attention to this. I just go on Instagram, if I see like a five grappling type of tournament, I try to do that. Or if I see that there's like some small tournament here or there, I try to do that. But also, I want to make sure that I'm not just competing because I can. I want to make sure I'm competing and I know I'm going to try to win this. 
I'm not trying to compete because like, oh, I can get a credential here. If I compete, I get second. No, I want to always try to get first. I always want to be able to say that I'm better than how I was yesterday. So if I didn't pass someone's guard today, I want to try to pass someone's guard to this, uh, today. So like, you know, I always try to have that in the back of my head and always try to like set a goal for myself because I think that's very important. If I see a new technique online, I like it, I want to try to do that in the day. So every time like I always see something new, I see something new and I want to try to do that. And I think when I do that, I have a sense of accomplishment that makes me feel really good. Hobbyist is definitely different than the normal competitor. The competitor always has it in the back of their head that they want to win this, they want to do that, but even the hobbyists, even if they compete, they might not have that in the back of their head. They just want to do it for fun. They want to do it for an experience, which is 100% not, I, I'm not against it at all. But I just think that, you know, like it's good to incorporate both into each other so that, you know, one can learn from the other, or the other one, or one can learn from, they can learn from each other. Because I think that, you know, that's important too. Like, you know, now I'm definitely more serious because I represent my sponsors, I represent myself more now, and I really take that a lot more seriously. So before I was like, you know, like, uh, I'm competing, oh, okay, I did something stupid, I did something, no, now I'm representing my sponsors, and now I, like, I, they, it leaves it, it, it leaves a very small area for me to be, me to go easy on, go easy on competition. So I always, I'm trying to have that mindset all the time. Now. That it leaves a very small area for me to go easy because I'm representing one person, I'm representing two people, I'm representing a company. You know. I think that you know, that's definitely important to exercise some kind of self-control or some kind of thing that makes you want to get to the academy at this time or not be late to a class or stuff like that. It takes a lot of self-control and self and discipline to, to, to go to sleep on time, make sure you wake up at that time, prepare your food, get your geese ready, go to class, train hard, and do all that in one day. And I think that definitely someone needs to exercise a lot of self-discipline and a lot of control to get to a level of a really good perfect belt even. So how do you relax away from jujitsu and other jujitsu related things? Relax from it? Like, like uh, relax away from it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I really like jujitsu so I don't really feel that I have to relax away from it. Like if I relax at all, I I'll be watching you. I will watching. I'll be watching jujitsu videos or something like that. I don't really feel that I have to get away from it as much as like, because jujitsu for me is something to relax. I don't really like, get tired of it. Yeah, I'm really glad that my only challenge right now is travel. Like I know other children like they have like one thing or another. They can't come here because of one thing. They can't come here because of another thing. But my only challenge is travel. So I just have to make the hour commute here, either by train or either by car. So it's, it is kind of challenging at times, but you know, like, if I get here late, everyone's understanding, I guess. Or I can get here early and I'll be here just like for like two hours, three hours, just doing my homework. You're like, um, right now, at the moment, it's how it's been for like a month or so. Or like, yeah, more than a month or so. But uh, I've been training at 12 at noon for two hours, I, so I get here like around 10, no, I get here around like 11, 11.30, I start training at 12 to 2, and then I'm usually at Unity the whole day after that, until my dad picks me up, or either I take the train back, which is a bit earlier, but if my dad picks me up, I get home around maybe 8, and I do the kids' class at 4. I don't really advocate advocate to be 100% safe, play it 100% safe, I think that's good to take chances. So always think like, I always try to think, I always try to ask myself, 
if playing 100% safe on the mat, even if it's sweaty, like even if I might slip, is that going to sacrifice my training session? Is that going to sacrifice if I go for the takedown? Or is that going to sacrifice if I get this certain guard pass or a certain sweep or whatever like that? Because it's always good to be mindful of your surrounding, but I think everyone should always determine for themselves or make sure if they cross that gray line or stay in that gray line to determine, like, you know, like if being 100% safe is going to sacrifice your training session or if sacrificing your training session is going to, might hurt you or you're not going to be safe at all. It's a gray line that they should determine for themselves. My school schedule is pretty flexible. I wouldn't say that I don't get things covered. I try to cover everything. But at the same time, it doesn't stop me from coming to class. So like, I can bring my homework here, I can do my homework here, or once I get home, I try to do my homework there. But it's always about, maybe I try to do three hours a day and try to cover one subject and understand one subject. Challenges I face, uh, I just try to like, always try to, make sure that I'm training and make sure that I'm doing my homework. So that's sometimes the margin that's like pretty uncertain, but I always try to get it done. Yeah. While I was in Jiu-Jitsu, like I saw a lot of the filmmakers and stuff like that. I saw like DJ Hacks, I saw like uh, Stuart Cooper, and I saw like some of the other uh, filmmakers like you. Like I really like filmmaking, I really like Jiu-Jitsu, and I want to eventually like put that together and try to have some kind of jiu-jitsu film, or like that. But if it's not in jiu-jitsu, I would like to be about something else. Uh, I really like film, yeah, so I want to do that. I want to travel as much as I can in my life. Uh, yeah, I want to try to get everything done. I want to try to travel as much as I want in my life. I want to try to pursue what I want to do besides jiu-jitsu, which is film. But at the same time, achieve everything I want to do in jiu-jitsu. So like that's a gray line I have to determine for myself and determine how much I want to put into jiu-jitsu and how much I want to put into my other hobbies which are film. I definitely want to be a black belt. I think everyone wants to be a black belt. But what I want more is I want to be a really good blue belt. I want to be, I want to be a really good purple belt who can fight like up in weight, who can fight like in higher higher belt divisions and still do like have the same have the same results. I want to be that first before I get my black belt. I just want to try to always be respectful, always try to be honest, always try to have that, like always, to try not to make so many mistakes in, I don't know, in life, just in general. And always having that in the back of my head, I think always like, always to be honest, because I'm rep I'll be representing my family, I'll be representing the people that I just represent, even in, even in class. I'll be representing my sponsors, I'll be representing stuff like that, even though one might not think of it as that serious, like, it is pretty serious. And that's not making me be 100% straight-faced all the time. No, it's just making me always have it in the back of my head, which is not a stress for me, it's more of a reminder. Just thank you to my sponsors. I'm sponsored by VHS. I'm sponsored by One vs. Me. You should go check them out. They're really, VHS is a growing company. It's getting big. It's gonna be awesome. You should buy from VHS. Yeah, one versus need too. They're awesome. One versus need. Everyone knows one versus need. It's a big company. Yeah. But you should check them out. Uh, my Instagram is Mateen Stevens. M A T E N S T E V N S. You should check that out. I have another Instagram, which is my me and my sister. It's Mateen Tahir Stevens. So Mateen is spelling, and then T A H T R A and Stevens. Same spelling. So you should check that out too. And yeah, thank you to Brian Castro and Modern Practitioner for the opportunity. My name is Mateen Stevens, and you're watching Modern Practitioner. Wait, one more time. My name is Mateen Stevens, and you're watching Modern Practitioner.